And uh, Zach joins us now. Good morning to you, Zach, and thank you for joining us. Uh, and before we go any further, thank morning, you very Pierce. much for you? your... I know you've served in the US military in uh, many places, including Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Thank yep. you, first of all, for your service. Um, let's get into... Yes, sir, thank you. Let's get into the, uh, the thinking behind this advert. I've got to be honest with you, a lot of people, okay. in, a lot of people in Britain, where we don't really have guns, will be vaguely horrified right. by what they've just seen. Why would you try and sell roofs with semi-automatic rifles? Well, you know, and I'm going to sit this down real quick, you know, just so we can have an adult conversation. I think we got enough of this. But um, so I live in the southeastern part of the United States in Alabama, and I know you saw that beautiful state in the video. And uh, we're, for the most part, gun-toting, law-abiding citizens where I'm from. And, um, you know, part of what our strategy was is we wanted to make an impact. And uh, I'm a young entrepreneur with my business partner, Chris McGuire, and uh, we wanted to have a shock value on a local and regional level, and uh, it's kind of taken a uh, life of its own. And for uh, $200, we've, been, we've created an international ad and a national ad here in the United States. So, you know, some people think it's kind of silly and dumb, but, you know, I kind of think we're kind of geniuses. Well, it's but... certainly, yeah, it's certainly had an impact, and, um, and, you know, it's got everybody talking. I think, for me, it just seems a bit sick, actually. The rifle is an assault rifle. It's a semi-automatic rifle, just like the AK-47. There's plenty of SKSs. You know, we've been using these for, you know, close to 100 years now. So to call it an assault rifle is, is incorrect, but, but, it's, but you know, it's, secondly, But you would that, use it, I suppose mm -hmm. I use that term loosely, because you would use a, a weapon like that to assault someone. That's kind of what I mean by or, that. You, or, technically, you know, of course, also, you, can, you can, you know, dispute mm -hmm. the definition. But the purpose of a rifle and its ammunition is to hurt, wound, or kill. Okay, so... I'll, I'll let you talk, so I'll, let me talk for a second. So again, we hunt a lot where I'm part, where I'm at in the United States. We deer hunt, we hog hunt, we varmint hunt. This rifle is a 223 round. It's a 556 five, NATO round used to kill either small animals or up to a size of a deer. This is what they're really made for. Okay, but in your so advert, you say it's to protect rifles. your family. Again, you don't uh -huh. say it's about hunting animals. Right. You say it's to protect your family. Yeah, so it is protect your family. Well, yeah. Well, against so, animals. Mm hmm Okay, well, also against, against people, so, so we have is, the right so to the Second aim Amendment. So the aim is to hurt people. In. Okay, again, let me finish talking. So with, with this, we know that we can protect families with this. There's bad people out there, and guess what? Our amendment was, the Second Amendment was designed to keep us from tyranny and foreign domestic enemies. So with that, yeah, you, you can shoot someone with it. But if you look at statistically in the United States, 60% of all gun deaths are caused by suicides and 50% of the rest of the other 40% are because of drugs or violent crime in inner cities, gang-related activities. So to say that this weapon is for killing people is just incorrect and it's absurd. Well, the handgun issue in the United people, States okay, Zach, is Zach, absolutely absurd. Zach, I think, uh -huh. might, unless I'm wrong, uh, over 32,000 people were killed by guns last year. In this country, killed by cars In this last country year. where civilians don't really have guns and certainly wouldn't have any mm -hmm. semi-automatic rifles, we have 32 gun deaths a year. So do you not understand mm -hmm. that there's a, a clear mathematical link between not many guns and not many gun deaths and loads of guns, well, as you said, you, you're I'll, a gun-toting guy, and loads of mm -hmm. gun deaths? Well, Piers, I'll also give you a statistic. In the United States versus the UK, you guys have four times the amount of violent crime in the Absolute UK versus the United States hogwash. if you break down populism. No, Zach, Zach really? well, that is, I, guess, that is I guess, a, guess, you, guess you should tell Harvard that. Zach, that is a, that is a completely untrue load of okay. BS released by NRA-backed findings, right, which is designed to try and hide the fact that America has mm -hmm. by far the worst gun violence record of any country of the 23 richest countries in the world. In fact, America has more gun deaths than all the other 23 richest countries in the world combined. And every country that's renounced Pierce. guns, like Britain, Australia, Japan, Germany, now have tiny records of gun deaths. You can't get a rifle like this or a gun for that matter, period, with a felony offense or with a violent record. So to say that we're acting irresponsibly is incorrect. 
for Zach, falling below Zach, the United hold, States. Zach, you guzzle a beer down in one, then you right. get thrown a bottle of whiskey and you start guzzling that, then you unload your semi-automatic rifle. It's hard to imagine a more irresponsible video that a former serviceman well, could ever wish to put out to encourage civilians how to use a firearm. Here you are, have a beer, well, Pierce, have some whiskey, you, blaze yeah. your gun away. How does it get more irresponsible, well, Pierce, if, if you see, If you see the cuts, there's actually a cut in between the scenes. Ah. So we did all the shooting prior to me having any alcohol whatsoever. No, you do the shooting the at the end, video Zach. Afterwards. At the end of the video, did we you, see you, you blazing see your gun away, but which time you've had a beer did you see the cut? and you've had whiskey.